Good morning. Let's start with a fundamental question. Can you explain what Angular is and its key features? Good morning. Certainly. Angular is a TypeScript-based front-end web application framework developed and maintained by Google. Its key features include two-way data binding, dependency injection, modular structure with modules, directives, services, and routing for single-page applications. Excellent. Can you elaborate on the concept of two-way data binding? Certainly. Two-way data binding is a feature in Angular that allows automatic synchronization of data between the model and the view. Changes in the model are reflected in the view, and vice versa. It's achieved using the ing model directive, commonly used with form elements. Great explanation. Now, what is TypeScript, and why is it used in Angular? TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript that introduces static typing to the language. Angular is built with TypeScript to leverage benefits such as improved tooling, better code structure, and enhanced maintainability through features like interfaces and type checking. Well explained. Moving on, can you tell me about the purpose of Angular CLI? Certainly. Angular CLI, or command line interface, is a powerful tool for tasks like project initialization, development, scaffolding, and maintenance. It simplifies the development process by providing commands for generating components, services, modules, and more. Good overview. Now, let's talk about Angular directives. Could you provide examples and explain their purpose? Angular directives are markers on DOM elements that instruct Angular to perform specific actions. For instance, ingif is used for conditional rendering, infer for iterating over lists, and ing class for dynamically applying CSS classes based on conditions. Clear examples. Moving on to lifecycle hooks, can you differentiate between ing on init and ing on changes? Certainly. Ing on init is a lifecycle hook called after Angular initializes all data bound properties, commonly used for initialization tasks. On the other hand, ing on changes is called when data bound properties change, receiving a simple changes object containing previous and current property values. Good distinction. Now, what is dependency injection in Angular? Dependency injection is a design pattern used in Angular to enhance modularity and maintainability. It allows the injection of dependencies, such as services or objects, into a component or service rather than creating them within the component or service itself. Well explained. Lastly, can you tell me about the purpose of Angular services? Certainly. Angular services are used to encapsulate reusable code and provide a way to share functionality across different parts of an application. They are injectable and commonly used for tasks like making HTTP requests, sharing data between components, and encapsulating business logic. Excellent responses. You've provided a thorough understanding of Angular concepts. Thank you for your time.